Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about how to walk alone confidently. So this is advice for people that are single, that are perhaps sick of being single and really, really do want to be in a relationship. And perhaps you've been on a few dates that didn't work out and it's just something that you really you're really frustrated with right now. So how can you, you know, be more happier being single, uh, being more confident while you're single, while you are trying to, you know, get into a relationship? Because one of the things that I see people go wrong is that when they really start wanting a relationship, they start becoming desperate and start acting needy when they start meeting people that they really, really like. So that's the worst thing that you could do. So it's better to have this sense of confidence about you and to walk alone confidently so that when you do find someone that you really like, it doesn't matter. You have this mindset where it doesn't matter if things don't work out because you don't mind actually being single. Being single is good. Being in a relationship is good. It doesn't matter where you land, basically. You're happy either way. And when you start living like that, it's much easier to become less desperate when you're on dates and you just have more successful dates as well. It's kind of weird. Like, the less you care about being in a relationship the more likely it is that you're actually going to find someone to be in a relationship with because they can sense that you are not desperate and you're not needy because you're unattached. You don't mind if you're single. And if you don't mind that you're single, then for some reason, the universe works in a mysterious way where they set, they offer more people to you um, that you could be in a relationship with. And those dates end up being more successful because you don't, you, you're not as attached, right? So, the first thing that I want to get into is to learn to enjoy your own company, right? Because some people go from one relationship straight into another because they don't feel confident. They don't feel that they have enough. They don't have the self-esteem basically to go it alone, right? This is why often you see, you know, when relationships disperse, one person or maybe both people end up in a relationship almost straight away. And there may have even been, you never know, an overlap. There may have, it may have been like an orbiter, for example, that was, you know, hoping for the relationship to end and then they got with that person. And it's, you know, typically you see this happening mostly with women. They usually have, you know, they go from one relationship straight into another. Insecure women I'm talking about here. Not all women. But typically there was a few people that were kind of hanging around in the distance all the ways, you know, hiding in the background that always kind of wanted to date her. And then when the relationship started going sour with her boyfriend, um, she started talking to one of these other men. And then, you know, when the, the relationship ended, she managed to find a, re a new relationship straight away. So you often see that with women. But anyway, there are some people out there that don't feel secure enough in themselves to be single for a long time or to be single for even a few days, right? Even a week. They always need to be in a relationship. And basically you want to be one of these people that doesn't mind there being gaps in from one relationship to another relationship you shouldn't mind that so how can you learn to enjoy your own company so obviously having hobbies that you really like to do by yourself is a good thing obviously you can do it with friends as well or family um having things yeah so having a good like range of activities that you can do on your own like if you can find a way to spend your time in a way that you enjoy it doing hobbies that you like um you know, preferably ones that are good for you as well. Like if, let's say, you like to just go out hiking on your own. You know, or perhaps you like to go to the gym on your own. Or perhaps you, you know, you like to spend some time, you know, listening to music and painting. You know, or playing an instrument or learning a new language. You know, perhaps something like that. Or, or you know, another thing that can preoccupy your time is having a job that you enjoy. You know, finding a career that you like, you know, can help that as well. Or perhaps creating a career on the side while you're working at your 9 to 5 can really help as well and having sort of like things in your life that you're passionate about that bring a lot of meaning to you um that feel you know make you feel inspired like if you have a job where you feel inspired like every day or you've got some sort of project where you feel inspired every day whether it's like a hobby like singing or painting or something like that or if it is like a business that you're trying to create that's really good like if you feel inspiration that's brilliant because you know usually if you've got like a job that you really enjoy like for example I really like making these videos for YouTube and working on my business and talking to my clients and you know working things out of those you know sorts of things like I love that and I love it when I have some time to do that I love it when I have some free time to fit those sort of things in and to work on those things you know because you know sometimes there might be a day where you know my wife has to work on a weekend for a few hours 
I love getting in some, you know, doing some things during that time because I'm like, oh my God, I've got an extra few hours of the week to actually do something for my business or something other, or it could be a hobby that I enjoy as well. Like if I want to have a little bit of a break. So, you know, having, you know, when you've basically what you want to do is like when you've got work and stuff, you've got all these other commitments and you have some free time for yourself. You shouldn't be dreading that free time or like spending that free time, you know, just daydreaming about like some crush that you have. You should be like, yes, I've got some free time to work on some things that I really love and that I'm really passionate about. And, you know, if someone who's got, you know, their act together will behave in that way, you know, they will be so like, yes, I've got some time. I've got a few hours to myself where I can just do some things that I really like, you know, and if you've got your head screwed on, that's, you know, basically how you should be feeling when you've got those you know some time to yourself and you shouldn't be feeling bad like oh my god I'm so miserable that I'm so going I can never get a boyfriend I can never get a girlfriend you know whatever it may be you shouldn't be ha- having these woe pity pity parties of course you know you should be you know still you know having your dating app still you know trying to arrange dates with people but it shouldn't be like the be all end all of your you know emotions because some people you know if they get rejected it's like the, it's the, they, they're taking out for they're taken out for like a, a month or a few months they're like they get so upset and so sad that they got rejected which you know is fair enough because rejection is hard but if you've got other things in your life that are really important to you you're passionate about different projects, it shouldn't matter when someone says, you know what, no thanks, I don't really want, I don't really fancy going out on a date now, it shouldn't matter that much, you can be like, okay, cool, you know, because the right attitude to have is to understand that, you know, you will find someone eventually, and kind of having that confidence that you know that you're going to find someone eventually, and if, let's say, you're dating someone and it doesn't work out, that's fine, because all that means is that I can now move on and find someone new who will like me, who will want to test the, you know, stand the test of time with me, right, it's having that attitude of, it doesn't matter if this doesn't work out with this person that I like, because I can just find someone else, you know, I have, I have that attitude myself, like, I have that attitude even now that I'm married, like, if something ever to go completely wrong, in my marriage, that say my wife cheated on me, or did something else that was super disrespectful, you know, it would suck, it would hurt, I'll be upset about it, but I know that within like a couple of years, I'll be back on my feet again, and you know, looking for love, and and doing it all over again, like I have that confidence that if things don't work out, I know I will be fine, you know, it's, it's having that confidence in yourself, that you know that you can find someone else, so it doesn't matter if you're on a date with someone, and it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter if you get into a relationship with someone, and it doesn't work out, it's having that confidence that, you know what, I know that I can pick myself up, and get myself back on track, and, and you know, be, you know, I can get back on the horse, it may take some time to heal, but you know what, I know I can get there, I know it'll be fine eventually, and you know what, I like, I don't mind being on my own, I enjoy my own company, and it doesn't bother me, it doesn't matter to me, it's having that inner confidence that I don't mind what happens. You know, if I find someone, great. If I don't, that's fine too because I've got other things that I can work on in my life. And if I find a relationship, brilliant. That's great. That's really good for me. That's going to be brilliant for me. Because, you know, you and you also don't become as desperate because if you're on a date with someone and, you know, they're, they're showing some red flags, you know, perhaps they bring up that they've cheated on every person they've ever been with and you're like, uh, you know what, nah. Um, I think I'll then, you know, I won't ask this person out again on another date, you know, as, and you know, you don't get too hung up over it, you don't get too bothered about it, you don't get too bothered about the dates, even if this person that you went on a date with was super hot and they were 10 out of 10 when it comes to their looks, you know, it's having that like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how hot they are, it doesn't matter how good looking they are, it doesn't matter how much they make me feel, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, because I know there are plenty of people out there, and it's going to work out eventually, and it's just having that inner resolve, that inner confidence, so that's fine, so basically, what do you do then, if you don't really have that much confidence, so, because this is what, you know, a a big one, you know, I think a lot of um, dating issues, and even relationship issues, and even, like, issues when it comes to when you've broken up with someone, because I know a lot of people have come to me from videos that, you know, they've, they've broken up with someone, and it hasn't worked out, and all that kind of stuff, Um, you know, a lot of it comes from, you know, a self-esteem issue, like if they find it hard to get over them, or they're finding it hard to, you know, um, you know, get someone into a relationship with them, or they've been rejected, you know, of course, those kinds of things do affect your self-esteem, but you don't want it to paralyze you, 
Um, but anyway, you know, a lot, a lot of people come to dating channels because they have self-esteem issues. I know that because that's what I did when I began my personal journey and I started looking up information about these things myself. I came from a place of deep insecurity and deep, you know, a low self-worth and having a low self-esteem. So how can you then develop your confidence when you've had these knocks, basically, and you, you, you feel insecure when it comes to love? So getting confident in just, or competent, at least comp- confident or competent in one thing. So getting really good at something, um, whether it's like a, sort of like a particular skill or hobby or a job, um, or, you know, you know, it, it could be anything really. Getting really good at something, getting really confident at something or really, really good at it, like competent at something can really help. Um, because if you become confident in one area, it usually spills over into other areas. So let's say you get really confident about going to the gym. Let's say you get like, you know, you get good muscles, you get really fit, you get super healthy. Let's say you, you, you had a bit of weight to lose and you lost it um, and you feel really confident in your body. Um, now you will feel like you can be confident in other areas as well. Because if you become confident in one, like I said, it spills into other areas. Or it could be, it might not be that. It could be like, let's say you get really confident at a particular skill. Let's say you really like archery and you get really, really confident at archery or like martial arts or something. You know, those things, it, when you get really good at something, that gives you a lot of confidence. When you become like almost like expert level at something, that's when you can get so much confidence and it really does you know, spill over into other areas as well. It really, really does. So try to become confident or competent at at least one thing. Now, you might already be on your pathway to that. Perhaps you're really good at piano or something, or uh, it could be something else, you know, whatever it is for you. You know, what are you really good at, right? And work on that, right? Or it might be the case, this will give you such a big boost. Find out what you're bad at. Find out what you're really terrible at. So let's say like you're really bad at like mathematics, Aim to get really good at it. Aim to get really confident in mathematics or something. Aim to get really, really competent at something that you're really bad at. And then you'll realize, you know what? I can build myself. I can build on a skill. I can build my competence in this. I can build my confidence in this. I can build my knowledge in this. And that will make you really confident. So obviously building on skills that you already have is good, but also finding something that you suck at, that you're terrible at and getting good at it is also like a really cool thing. And you'll really surprise yourself as well if you manage to do it, which I'm sure that you will. Because all it, all these things take is a little bit of time and effort. Like just spending 15 or 20 minutes on something a day, you know, over a year can get you really good at something. So that's something to consider as well. And, um, you know, you know, that's how the, my personal tips on, you know, how you can walk with confidence, how you can walk alone and be confident and not mind being single for a while until you do actually eventually find that person who you're meant to be with. You know, you, so you've just got to always have that, you know, attitude of it'll happen when it'll happen. And I'm not going to force things. I'm not going to act desperate. I'm not going to act needy. You know, sure, I'm going to go out on dates. I'm still going to have my dating apps or dating websites or I'm still going to go out and meet people but I'm not going to be so attached. I'm not going to be so desperate, you know, because it might be the case that you meet someone who's really cool and you just want to be friends with them. And you're like, okay, well, that's great. I just made a new great friend out of this, you know, or things like that, you know, so you have to take those sort of things into consideration as well. So, you know, don't be so focused on your love life. Focus on things that are really important to you. Obviously still date, but don't let it be a main priority, you know, have other things at the top of your list, like your health, your fitness, your finances, um, your family and your friends, and then maybe have dating somewhere lower down, um, and don't make it such a big thing in your life, and that will give you a lot of confidence as well, and it'll make you feel a lot easier about it, and it won't be as intense, right? So thank you so much for watching, and I shall talk to you again very soon. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, and you like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.